tell you. How was your journey? Oh, Have you eaten? Of your questions do you want me to answer? Are you hungry? Hi, mommy. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, I haven't seen mommy in a while. Mommy, you look so beautiful. I missed you, you too, baby. Come here, but you need to eat. Oh, mom. You need to eat, baby. You're sexy. Uh-uh, not for me. <laughs> this meal before us. We pray that it nourishes us body and soul. We want to thank you for the life of our daughter who has traveled back from uh, abroad. We thank you for journey messes, oh Lord. We pray that uh, this trip will then enlighten her. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hmm, Shall we? Not pray so well. I'm impressed. <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? So I didn't know how to pray before. No, I'm just uh -huh. saying you now pray better than you used to. <laughs> uh, what am I even going to do now? <laughs> what? What are you doing? I'm sorry, I... Rose! I didn't mean so. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm just so excited that, you know, I've not seen my daughter in a very long while, so... No. Mm. <coughs> Sorry, Mom. Excuse me. So was that out of excitement too? Why are you so disgusting? Wait. Did you? Disgusting? Wait, are you trying to Call me a dirty and ill-mannered woman? Well, <laughs> birds of the same feather, they say. You must be like me, and that is why you were attracted to me and you share the same bed with me. So, you are a very dirty man. Mom! Rose. I just lost my appetite. It's good to have you home. Sit down. You have to sit down and eat this food. You will not waste my food. Where are you, where are you going? Come and eat this food. This is sure going to be a long holiday. Honey? Honey? Rose! Rose! What? What is it? Why are you shouting my name like that? Where's my smart watch? I left it there the last time I used it, and, and you know I am not scattered. Yeah. So who is scattered? Who is scattered? I'm asking you. I am the one that is scattered, eh? Please, please, please. I don't even have time for your trouble this morning. Just go to the drawer there beside the bed and get your wristwatch. I was cleaning the house this morning and I kept it there. Why would you keep it there? Why would you move my stuff? You know I don't like it when you touch my stuff. If it's there for 10 years, let it be there for 10 years, let it die there. But why would you move it? Just to, to put it back where you found it. You gotta put it back where you found it. Now, Mickey, give me a touch. I'm looking for my watch. Ah! See where you now kept it. Just from here to here, you cannot use, use your sense to move things back. <laughs> Costing me 10 minutes of time just looking for my water. Now you raise my blood pressure. Don't, don't, don't clean this out again, oh. I will clean it after you like being dirty. 
babe, I miss you. <sighs> You're fine. Did you just say enjoy my vacation? Babe, I'm tired already. Do you know my parents still fight over every little thing and it's pissing me off. And to think that I decided to go study abroad just so I can give them some time to bond. But it's not working. They're still fighting. Candy, this is really annoying me. Candy, when did you become a marriage counselor? <laughs> Let's see, you won't kill me. <laughs> anyway, let's forget about my parents right now. So what's up? What about Brian? Did he come to the beach today? Germs you've touched in that place now, touching money, touching all the things, by nylon by scratching your hair, and you want to eat your filthy hands. What, what is your problem? Why, what are you even talking about? Can you just give me a break for once? So, because of this, you just physically abused me right now. How did I physically. How did I abuse you? I'm trying to save your life. This is why you're always falling sick, because you're always getting sick on, and, 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 and eating all these, all these germs when you cannot avoid it by just being hygienic. Can you just give me a break for once? Give me a break! Like, you just hit... Do you know I can see you right now? Like, Mom, I can see you right now. Mom, it hasn't gotten You just physically abused me right Mom, now. Mom, just stop being dramatic. It hasn't got into that, Mom. Uh, please. Okay, can you guys just stop this, please? Really, please. Listen, you know what? If your father does not apologize to me right now for physically abusing me, I'm going to step out of the sky. I am not apologizing. I was saving your life. That's fine. Okay, I will Dad. just go. I am not Daddy. putting it back inside the. I'm putting Daddy, it back. What do you want me to see, do? See. What do you want Daddy. me to do? You wasted this thing now. Okay, Daddy, please just apologize. I'm not saying sorry, sir. Just no sorry, problem. please. No, she's the hand that dead. Daddy, please, no you problem. can just end all of this. Just say sorry to mommy. No, 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 no. I'm stepping out mommy. of the sky right now. If you will not apologize, no, no, no. Daddy, 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 just say sorry. Daddy, just say sorry. Daddy, just say sorry. Daddy, just say sorry. No, go. Go. Mommy. Daddy, save your life. I want to go. Daddy, you should have just said sorry to her. I'm not saying anything wrong to her now. Save her life, and then she's now complaining again. I'm trying to save her life. Can you imagine? Mommy, please. It's just a little issue. You don't really have to get angry mm -mm, like this. Mm -mm. Just, just let me be. Okay? Let me be. Mommy, okay. All right. I'm sorry, mommy. Please, just, just go back into the car. I'm not going back into any car. Stop mommy, stopping me. Are you trying to call a car? Yes. Oh, mommy, it hasn't gotten to this. Now, stop being dramatic, please. I'm being dramatic. Oh God, okay fine. Sorry mommy, you're not being dramatic. Mommy, please let's just go back into the car. No. We're crossing a scene mommy, let's just go back, please. No. Okay, daddy's here. <clears throat> okay daddy, please just come say sorry to mommy, please. Is she still on this matter? I will not enter that car except you say sorry to me. If you don't apologize, I will not enter that car. Why do I need to apologize to you? I'm trying to help you. Eh. Daddy, just say sorry. What do you have to say sorry it's to her? It's just simple sorry. Just say sorry to mommy. That's all. But her hands were dirty. I'm not trying to help her. I will not enter. If you don't say sorry, I will not enter. I'm not saying sorry. You will oh, not say sorry. God. I am not saying sorry to you. This is what oh, you always do you every did. time. Really? Okay then, I'll, I'll go with the cab then. Okay, okay mommy, sorry. Just do what? Sorry, just do Because of groundnuts! What do you mean because of groundnuts? You almost hit me right there. How did I abuse you? Yes, you did. Sorry, let's just end all of this. I'm not saying sorry, sir. Okay, no problem. I'm not saying sorry to you. Sorry. It's just because of groundnuts. I'm going. It's your sorry. It's it. Are you going to take a cab? Really? Yes, I am going to take because a cab. Because of. Hey. Oh, you should tell me sorry. What do you mean, say sorry? I was trying to help you. I was trying to help you. No problem. It's your story. Daddy, don't let mommy take a car. No 
Because she lost to me all the time, oh. Just tell her sorry, so good it is. Oh. Ross, because of brown nuts. Come on, brown nuts. Why are you behaving like this? Because of brown nuts. Because you lost to me every time, oh. Eat your sorry. Because you lost to me every time. Go, move. Eat your sorry. Did you just say sorry to her? What did I do wrong? Look at her. Take anything from her. Not since she was taking her car. Now let's go. Because of brown nuts. I didn't do anything wrong to her now. Yeah? Come. Oh. Hey, Good baby. Good morning, Daddy. Mwah. Hey, Nene. Good morning, Mommy. Hey, darling. Mwah. How are you? Are you enjoying your new room? Hi. It's okay. I was the matter? Don't be happy. Honestly, not. Can I talk to the both of you, please? Yeah, sure. Okay. Dad, Mom, you both know how much I love you, right? And I know you love me too. But the constant fights and quarrels is really exhausting. Like we can't go on a day in this house without fighting. Okay. I understand that you both had me while in secondary school and finally decided to get married two years ago, which I was very happy about. But why get married when you're going to hurt me with it? Please, Dad, Mom, can you two please just try to tolerate and understand each other, please? No more fights. No more quarrels. I don't have peace like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to see us fight. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I feel so bad. We brought you here so you can enjoy yourself, but clearly you're not happy. Look, I'm, I'm so sorry for your mother's immaturity, okay? Immaturity? Wait, wait, wait. Did he just call me immature? Look at this, look at this man. You're a joker. Look at this overgrown okra. Me? Yes, you. Look at you. Me. Do you even know how to change your diaper? Do you, do you even know what a diaper is? You don't even know how to live up to your responsibilities like making your family happy and you call me immature? Really? I don't blame you, alright? It's not your fault that your mouth works faster than your brain. <laughs> my, 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 my mouth works faster than my brain, so, so I'm dumb now. Do I have to spell everything out for you? Really? You're calling me dumb. You, I am dumb, right? What did you cause? What did I cause? If you can, if you had just kept your mouth shut now, none of this would have happened. Better go and fix it. You did it, not me. I, I. Better yes. Go. Better go and fix it. Me, I should go and fix yes, it. go and fix it. Better go and fix it. Go and fix it. I should go and fix yes. it. Yes. Me. Why? You called me immature in front of our daughter. I was apologizing for your immaturity. There's nothing wrong in that. Really? She has to know where the problem is coming from. So it's me that is the problem. Hey, listen, I've been calling Nessa. She's not talking to me. I've been knocking on her door and she will not open the door. You better get up, go to her room and explain to her exactly what your problem is. Or else this house will be too hot for both of us. My problem? Yes, your problem. My problem or your problem? Because you're the cause of my daughter's unhappiness and I will not forgive you for this. I am the cause of her unhappiness? You are so insensitive. Oh, woman. Do you know what it takes for a child to be happy? Do you know what a child's happiness is? Do you know? I brought her to this country to spend time with me against your will. So you better go up there and fix it because I want nothing to do with this. Jimmy? Really? You better stand up oh, for me. You better go and explain. See, my head, is, my head is pinning me, please. I don't want to. Baby? Nene? Nessa? Nessa! Where are you going? Wait, wait! Wait! Nessa, wait! I promise you, I will not no. say a 
what your father regained. Yes, D darling, listen now. I'll do your mother's exercise, I promise. Exercise? What do you mean by exercise? Rose, really, this is not the time for this, okay? What do you mean by exercise? You know your exercise. You're exercise always complaining. How? Complaining how? Now, so your daughter is as stubborn as you. My daughter is as stubborn. Where, Where are you going? going? Are you what you've done now? We are you happy? Are you happy now? You are the one that should be asking. No, you are the one that caused all this problem now. So you've done now. And you've done highway. Always arguing. What are you look for her? What are you look for her? What look for her where she's going to now? Go and look for her. She's not. Where are you going? Where are you going? My parents' constant fighting is driving me crazy. I had no other option than to just leave the house. Maybe in my absence they can learn how to tolerate each other. Honestly, I can't go back to the house. That would mean robbing me of my peace of mind and I don't want that. You know what? It's okay. How are you? What's going on? Look at me. Old soldier, never grew old. <laughs> I'm still as strong as I used to be when I was in the army. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> a pleasant surprise. So good to see you. Anyam! Anyam! Come and see who we got here. Oh. <laughs> Look Rose, at me. you know I got you lovely stuffs. So I you knew love. you would do something special. <laughs> yeah, <was> special. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Wow. You're looking so good. This is my granddaughter. Ure, go, 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 go. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You remember Vanessa? Yes, sir. Welcome. <laughs> well, how are you? How are you? Very fine. So, okay, Uri, you, you, you take Vanessa's things upstairs and prepare the the other guest room. Yes, yes, prepare for her. <laughs> She's our guest. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. Yes. <laughs> Why are you shouting my name? I was having a quiet time and meditating. And you come in with a loud voice and disrupt everything, constituting a nuisance. <laughs> wow. Look who we have here. You have grown into a big girl. A beautiful one at that. Yes, <laughs> Grandma, you look so lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, where are your parents? They didn't come with you? No, Grandma. Okay, the, the promise to bring you over by the weekend. I hope everything is fine. Everything is fine. Um, probably they'll just come on their own. Mm -hmm. But I'm here now. Are you not happy to see me? Oh, come on, of course I am. I am so elated to have you around. <laughs> me too. <laughs> what would my granddaughter like to eat? Okay, I've been craving for... Um, salad soup. Yes, I want to have a salad Wow, soup. beautiful. <laughs> That's my girl. A real homegrown Nigerian girl. Okay, see, Oti, make you best to Salasu. No way! Ure, my cook, will prepare the Salasu for my granddaughter. <laughs> but, um, Oti is a very good cook. Listen to me. Sala is an Igbo soup. And my cook, Ure, is Igbo. Obviously, she'll cook it better than your Ogoja cook. <laughs> It's okay. it's okay. What is important is that you have. Ure! Yes, ma'am. Please go and prepare a very tasty masala soup for my granddaughter. But, ma, what is cooking this week? Hmm? Do you love your job? Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, <laughs> you have the best in Salah. Uri, Uti, you are very good cook. Okay, Grandpa. Yeah? Come on, how are we going to do? Grandpa, do you know I got you something? Of course, I knew you would. Grandpa, this is the best thing I've ever had. Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa. Hi, Snapchat. Guess what I'm having today?
You're enjoying your meal. Yes, Grandpa. And uh, taking videos too, <laughs> yeah? Uh, you, you talk today on social media. So how's Sutherland? Huh? Excuse me. Are you encouraging her to talk while eating? There are enough spices in the food already. She does not need your saliva in it. But Grandma, he was just being concerned about me. I am concerned about you too. Now, since when has it become a crime to talk to my beautiful granddaughter? Talking to your granddaughter while she is eating. It is bad enough that you are lousy. Now, do you want to contaminate her food? Did you just call me lousy? Yes. <laughs> you think you are perfect, right? You think everything every other person does is wrong, but you are perfect. Hmm? You are bush. <laughs> look, look, pot calling kettle black. You, who went to America for what? Two weeks? And you came back with a British accent. Igbo, hmm? uh, American accent. Are you talking to me like that? <laughs> you are nuts. Nuts, nuts. Better to be a nutcase than that to be fake news. Fake. News! <laughs> Darling, hmm? I promise you, you will have a beautiful vacation. Okay? Huh? Give me that yeah, beautiful smile. <laughs> okay? Huh? Go ahead. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Vanessa. Yes, Grandpa. You didn't tell your parents that you were coming here? No, Grandpa. Because you just called me to find out if you were here. Grandpa, I don't think they deserve to know where I am. And as a matter of fact, I think I'll be better off here than with them. Please don't let them come here looking for me. Vanessa. Vanessa. Yes, sir. Do you want to talk about it? No, Grandpa. Okay. I won't force it. But you must have a good vacation. You must have fun. Hmm? Tell me about Sutherland. Tell me. Sutherland is a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. And my school, hmm, I have amazing classmates. I am. I am my darling. I am come down here on the double. Stop calling me Anya. My name is Anya. We have been living together for so many years and you still cannot pronounce my name correctly. What kind of a man are you? The kind of a man that you married. Anya will mean sunshine. You can call me sunshine then. <laughs> sunshine me. Moonlight call. Look at this dark, gloomy, inclement, cloudy weather. Calling herself sunshine. That is preposterous. Such insolence. Look at this unreasonable and foolish man. Holding the highest rank of absurdity. Hmm? Do you know the meaning of a lady in my language? Nope. It means a useless man. <laughs> a useless person. Moke nani. Onye nani. Your parents deserve some accolades for that. And I deserve some accolades. Hmm. Because right now, I'm taking my wife out for a walk. So are you coming with me or not? I am coming with you. I am not going to touch you. And I you are not going to you. touch me. What is happening with these two? They are like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Fighters today and besties tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> I can't tell.
Grandma, you don't have to be worried. Grandpa is fine. If he is fine, why is his phone not connected? He normally comes home before dinner. Trust me, Grandma. Grandpa is going to be home soon. Let's eat. You eat. I'll wait. I can't eat without him. Really? You can't eat without Grandpa? I can't! Where in heavens have you been? I've called your daughter to no avail. You really don't know how worried I've been. You see, Grandma, I told you Grandpa is going to be home soon. <laughs> my ever young first lady, the wife of my youth, Barista Beautiful. Dolo, dolo. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, I'm just joking. Um, I've had a very tiring day. I need to freshen up. Oh, I'll look at her. I'll be waiting for you. Welcome, Grandpa. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> Please hurry up. You see? <laughs> and so, the rebels in Moravia, hmm, you had to be strong. The rebels were everywhere. But we managed to. Hey, hmm? This is so disgusting. What? How come you're picking your teeth with your fingers? What are toothpicks meant for? We have so many in this house. I am. I'm not one of those your students you used to educate on how to behave. Okay? I'm a retired general in my own house. And you cannot come and tell me how to behave in my own house. This is not a forest when you were at war. So don't behave like a bushman. You're educated, yet you behave like an illiterate. Huh? Your thinking and actions are so overwhelming, so annoying. Oh, nonsense. Good night. Good night, Grandma. <laughs> uh, Vanessa, don't pay your grandma any attention. I'm used to it. In fact, Watch this. One, two. <coughs> General Lani! <laughs> General Lani, please come up! Do you know why she's calling? No. She can't sleep without me. You don't say. I do say. But I've got to go join her. Huh? Okay? Good night. I'm going to meet Bye. your grandma. Okay, good night, grandpa. I'll be back to sleep early, okay? Sure, grandpa. Okay, good night. Good night. So, Mrs. Olani, why are you disturbing me? General Olani, I'm just being concerned about you. You know what they say about going to bed early. <laughs> Is that it or...? Oh, what? Don't even think I can't sleep without you. <laughs> you said it yourself. Oh, get away. Go to bed and let me sleep. Well, I am going to bed. <sighs> Aren't you going to say good night and I love you? Will the world come to an end if you said it first? Hmm? Okay then. Good night. Mm -hmm. Good night. I love you. Sir? You heard me. is not the time to apportion blames. I kicked against this union from the answered, but you would not listen to me. Trust me, 
everything will fall in place and you will be fine. Take good care of yourself. I love you. Bye. What's that, Kunle? Huh? What's happening to them? They are getting a divorce. What? Divorce? It's the wall. It is not just the wall, it is my wall. You don't put dirt on my wall. My feet are in dirty. Oh, who cares, darling? Even if I have to host the queen, she will not touch my wall, lean against it, or place her legs on my wall. Look at all the dirt on my wall. I have to do something about it. Well, Grandma just placed my feet. Oh, shut up! You little brat. Now you get your legs off my couch. Sit properly. Yeah, Grandma. Sit on the couch. Sit properly. Sit like a lady. Oh, my God. I'll just go upstairs instead. That's better. I think that was not even needed. This is what marriage is about. I don't want to get married. Never say never go. You know you have a crush over here, remember? <laughs> that one. He might as well crush himself to hell, not interested. I have never been more serious. <sighs> you don't understand. They are always at each other's throat. It feels like a war zone. You can't talk to them. <laughs> talk to my grannies. They're as impossible as my parents. Look at your eyes, girl. You look so sad. What's going on? Maybe when you become a nun. <laughs> <laughs> that may sound funny to you, but I may wear end up as one. Marriage sucks. Oh, Vanessa, my darling. Sit down. Come sit with Grandpa. You see? Um, Vanessa, you see, when we pray, we do not pray to God to prevent the storm. Rather, we pray that He gives us the grace, the strength, and the wisdom to soft when the storm arrives. There is no perfect relationship. Relationships always come with challenges. But guess what? What? Challenges are the beauty of life. Challenges are what makes life interesting. And so it is with marriage. When the storm arrives, we must be able to sail with it. I mean, it will be unwise to expect perfection from a union of two imperfect people. Yes, that would be unrealistic to expect. But honestly, Grandpa, I'm floating. Your grandma and I. Mm. Your grandma is a bag of wahala. Nobody forced me to carry it. I willingly, lovingly, consciously, with hope and even with fear, decided to carry it. Hmm. You know why? Why? It's simple. Because I love her. Hmm. And you know, there's something else I must tell you. What is it, Grandpa? It's a secret. Your grandma is an OCD patient. OCD? Obsessive compulsive disorder. Uh, a condition that makes people behave in extreme ways. It manifests differently in different people. In her case, it manifests differently. She's particular. Things must be done according to how she left them or how she perceives them. And if they are not done that way, she explodes. Really? Mm -hmm. Exactly how my father behaves. Aha. Mm. And to think that I thought she was just being her usual self. Now I know better. Mm -hmm. But Grandpa, you know Grandma would be happy to hear you say that you love her, right? <laughs> yes. 
If your grandma wants to hear anything, she will not hear the part where I profess my love to her. <laughs> Rather, she will hear when I call her a bag of wahala. She has uh, American, British, Igbo accent, <laughs> and she explodes. <laughs> but guess what? What? I have gotten used to it. Mm. So sometimes I even trigger it. <laughs> now that's funny. Yes. I needed you to understand this. <laughs> Grandpa, you're mean. <laughs> Will you ever get tired of football? What do you expect from a retired officer, huh? to be chasing young girls. Look at you. You can't even chase a snail. <laughs> I chased you, and I got you. Now, who's slower than the snail? Ure! Yes, ma'am. What are we having for dinner? White plantain and vegetables. Okay, please add some potatoes. Hey, cancel that dinner. Hmm? Yes, I'm taking you, my wife, out to dinner tonight. Hmm. Hmm? Why are you asking so surprised as if I've never taken you to dinner before? Well, you have, but... Uh... Come on, that's something else I can do aside from watching football. Good to know. You heard him. to place our orders. Yeah. They have African dishes and continental dishes. I know exactly what I want to eat. Oh. And we have pounded yam, mm -hmm. a goosey soup with uh, salted meat, mm -hmm. and then you add this, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you add this snail, the pepper snail, and the pepper is gizzard. Yes, yes. That's Look at you. Is. You don't have teeth to chew anything. Besides, the doctor says your cholesterol level is high. If you don't want to take care of your health, I'll do that for you. I'm not a toddler. I, I will eat what I want. I will tell you what to do. Mm -mm. I will eat what I want. Today, I will eat meat. Oh. Eat kind of a big, big beef. I will eat snail, gizzard. Huh? And, you, and you will listen to me. You will listen to me. No, you will listen to me. You will listen to me. You will listen, listen to me. me. Bon appétit. <laughs> What's this? What? This is disgusting. You are just. I can't deal with this. Uh, I just can't. Where are you going? What was it? Come on. Uh. What is wrong with you? You just get out of here, you leave food like that and then walk out of the restaurant. What kind of thing is that? You are so annoying. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, the more I try to make us happy and satisfy you, the, 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 the more you make things difficult for me. You call them embarrassing me in public and effort to satisfy me? Oh, you are just impossible. You are just intolerable and uncivilized. Grandpa, Grandma, what happened? Oh, Ask sorry. him. I'm just lacing my shoes. Come on in. Hey, just in there. Oh. 
Sorry. Your grandma. You know, I told you she likes to see things exactly the way she left them. Okay, so the, you can sit here. Uh. Has it always been like this? No, um, you know, when I finally retired and came back and we started living together, one of the challenges was that we couldn't sleep on the same bed together. <laughs> Your grandma. She would wake me up in the middle of the night and say, oh, there's a grain of sand on the bed. Oh, my feet are touching the bed, they're dirty. Oh, I'm not sleeping well. Really? So we came up with this arrangement, apart yet together. Anyway, it's fine. I'll just wait for you outside. No, 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 no. I'm done. Please, Grandpa. We can, we can just go together. I'm, I'm... Don't worry, Grandpa, I'm outside. Oh. All right, I'm, I'm right behind you. <laughs> You should pollute the air instead of oxygen. One is taking in toxins. You are uncultured, useless, wicked. Olani, get up, get up, get up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. You, when was the last time you went to the toilet? What kind of question is that? Maybe, maybe your, your, your mouth is smelling into your nose. Anytime this boy cleans the living room, he doesn't put things back properly. Oh, see, this should be here and this should be there. Oh gosh, look at the bird. It's turned in. It should be facing here. Good. And the candles. Good afternoon, Grandma. Be here. This should be over. Oh, oh hello. hello. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> You're all dressed up. You have a date? Date? <laughs> nah. I just want to go to the mall to go do window shopping, probably get toiletries. Hey. Grandma, do you want anything? I know you are tired of this marriage. And guess what? I am also tired of you and this stupid union called marriage. Oh, what are you doing awake at this time? Don't tell me that you have not been sleeping with your wife in the same room back at home. Since fire, don't give me that crap. There's nothing that you're experiencing now that I've not gone through before. The first few years of my marriage to your mom was hell. Nobody thought that we could survive it. We never thought that we could last two years. But, but look at us. Waxing stronger. Do you know why? Because growing up, we grew up in an era where we were taught that Nothing goes bad. If it goes bad, you fix it. You do not dispose of it. My son, Kule, fix your marriage. Don't discard it. There's no better woman out there. You have your flaws. Dad, I wish it were that easy. Ah, like there are many fishes in the ocean, right? Yeah. Mm. Until you drop your fish 
and catch a tadpole because you want to catch a barracuda. Kunle marriage is for men. You are a man. Make your marriage work. Find a way. Put conscious effort to make things happen. This whole thing is affecting your daughter very badly. Eh? Put conscious effort. Make it work. Thanks, Dad. I'm there. Cool. Because nobody sleeps in my living room. So get up. Nice Attention! As you were. Up, up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Get up. Life is diminished. Oh, yeah. Attention. One. Top tip. Left. Lip right, lip right, lip right, lip right, lip right. Comfortable. You're going to sprain your neck. You better come and sleep on the bed. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Can you please just come to bed? Come and sleep on the bed. Come to bed. Hey, there you go, name. Hey, sorry, there's no milk. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I I'll have this one too. Thank you. I said name, not Rose. Is your name name now? Eh? Please leave my daughter's food. What's your own? My daughter is eating, and I'm allowed to eat whatever she's eating. If you want your own, go and get your own. Okay. Mm. Leave my daughter's food, please. Don't touch it. Good afternoon. Please, I'd like to find out what kind of Vanessa would like to eat. Mm. Sweetheart, what would you like to eat? I want to eat food prepared by my father. Yeah, I can, I can make something. Not noodles. Soup preferable. <laughs> Soup of the century! <laughs> to come in here and mock me. I'll survive. On the contrary, 
I'm actually here to help you because I know pride will not let you ask me for help. But if you don't need my help, I'll, I'll go. No, 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 I, I do, I do. Of course I do. <sighs> Thank you for coming to service with John. I have no idea what I'm doing. You don't have to thank me. I'm doing it for my daughter. Okay, just um, take care of vegetables and I'll handle the rest. You can cut okay. Thank you. chose to do otherwise. How will people from the gutters not understand how to live? How will people from the gutters not understand how to live in a castle? Mom, Mom. Is... What? Don't talk to her like that. You can show reverence and respect to an ordinary couch, but you can't do that to a human being. Me? Mom, you amaze me sometimes. As long as we are both in this house, you will respect her. for me back there, for standing up for me like that. There's nothing. I mean, you're a human being. You should be respected more than a couch. You know, I would love to read the Bible to you. Thanks, uh, Mom. Okay, so what passage do you want me to read? Do you have anyone in mind? It's Mommy. Songs of Solomon, chapter 2. Songs of Solomon? Of all the books in the Bible, why? No. Songs of Solomon, it is. and the lily of the valleys as the lily among thorns so is my love among the daughters as the apple tree among the trees of the wood so is my beloved among the sons I sat down under his shadow with great delight and his fruit was sweet to my taste Behold, thou art fair, my love. Behold, thou art fair. Thou hast dove's eyes within thy locks. Thy hair is as a flock of goats that appear from Mount Gilead. Thy teeth are like a flock of sheep that are even shorn, which came up from the washing. Whereof everyone bear twins, 
and none is barren among them. Thy lips are like a thread of scarlet. Thy speech is comely. Thy temples are like a piece of pomegranate within thy locks. Thy neck is like the tower of David, builded for an armory, whereon they hang a thousand buckles, all shields of mighty men. Thy breasts are like, do, 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 do I have to read this? Thy breasts are like two young roses that are twins, which feed among the lilies, until the day break and the shadows flee away. I will get me to the mount of Mira, and to the hill of frankincense. Thou art fair, my love. There, there is no spot in thee. And that's how we all manage to escape with different levels of casualties. <laughs> and that's how you hurt your knee. Yeah, and I've told you several times before. That this is 19,000 times you've told me this story. Vanessa. Nene. Oh, my baby. Look at you. Why did you come out? Yeah. Hmm? Look at you. Oh, I was so bored. Hmm. Uh -oh. You're bored? Yes, Mom. Um, do you want us to take you out? We can take you out if you want. Yeah. No, I don't want to go out. As a matter of fact, go out and be better than a family gathering like this. Yeah. That's, that makes sense. That's mm -hmm. good. Hmm? I want us to play a game. Oh, sure. I would like that. Game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What kind of game would interest you, my dear? Mm -hmm. mm. Truth or dare? Yes, I want us to play truth or dare. Truth or dare? Yes. Truth or dare? Yes, truth or dare. <laughs> That doesn't well. No. Well, true today. Well, why not? Why not? In, in that case, we start with your dad. Dad, come on. Uh, ladies first. Dad. That is inconsequential in the sky. Okay, Kunde. Truth or death? Ah. Uh. Truth, truth, truth. Okay, good. Here goes them. Um, tell us how it was the first time you met your wife, Rose. Can I can I change it to there? There. I, I pick. I pick there. Come on. <sighs> Fine. It's no turning back, right? Oh, uh, Rose, Rose. Uh, it was in SS1. Mm. She was a beautiful and a new student. She was a full package. Beautiful, decent, well-spoken, intelligent. Everybody hated her because she was quick to answer questions, but... From the first time I saw her, I, I couldn't stop smiling sheepishly. <laughs> You know, her big uniform and her basket sandals and her low cut. <laughs> and she was a sportswoman, sports girl. And then we became seatmates. That's when I knew there was something special. You know, I, I just knew that she had to be part of my future. Like, it was just... Oh, that's so sweet. Uh -huh. Yeah. She, she, she was my uh she was my first 
first everything. Oh. That was so heartwarming and appealing, my dear. Good luck to both of you. Over to you, Nee. Mm -hmm. Truth or dare? Well, um, because of this beautiful, wonderful granddaughter of mine, I say truth. Oh, good. Are you sure you want to do this, Dad? Absolutely. <laughs> Those times you traveled for peacekeeping and business trips. Did you ever cheat on me? <coughs> well, the answer is no. Mm. I never did and never will. Truth, truth. That is the absolute truth. I don't know why, but I believe you. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. Thank you. You see, but I know you know why. <laughs> and so, you are next. I dare you to kneel before your husband, kiss him from the sole of his feet to the crown of his head. That, that. That's not all. While you are at it, you must say these words. My Lord, yes, my Lord, I submit myself to you. I dare you. No, 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 dad, no, dad, no, no, dad, no, no, come on. No, this is not the 16th game. century. Come on, Dad. Mom, it's a game. You uh -oh. have to do it. There is no going back. But I cannot. From the sole of his feet. To the crown of his head. From the sole of his feet. To the crown of his head. From the sole of his feet. Yes. Yes. Go. <laughs> Mr. Jerry from Ferdinand O. Ferdinand Chambers. Oh. I have this letter for you from my principal. Thank you, You're welcome. All right, goodbye. Says.
Is divorce the only option? Why must we go down this path? So, because a vase, very delicate and expensive vase, has a scratch on it, we're meant to just discard it. Why can't we redesign it, remodel it, repaint it? Give it a better and a new look. The only problem I see here is lack of understanding. We can fix it. I know I can be very overbearing. But I'll change. I'll change. I'm sorry for everything I've ever said and done wrong to you. I'm an imperfect person trying to pull perfection from an imperfect person too. And it's so stupid of me. Deep in my heart, I know I still love you very much. And if there's anything in there, no matter how small it is, for me, I suggest we rekindle it. Inferno, take me into your loving arms, please. Before I go up blazing my own passion, Seeing the both of you like this really makes me feel better. <laughs> so, what did I miss? What did you miss? 
<laughs> On the contrary, something was missing. Your mother and I, our love is like a puzzle and we had a missing piece. But we don't find it. Missing piece? I'm lost, I don't understand. <sighs> oh, okay. Sorry for hurting you with our words, our actions. We're really sorry. And now we we want to be better parents to you. We just want you to be happy. We we want to bring that smile back. We want to be better parents to you. I, I just wish I did this earlier so we could have more time. I, I, I just wish I, I can switch places with you right now. Together now. <laughs> Back together. Honey, we never separated. But the both of you are always fighting. Not anymore. Let's just see we patch things up. We are on a clean slate now. And our love is so strong. Our bond is even stronger than that of the high school sweethearts. Right. <laughs> And what about the divorce? Yes, the divorce. What about the divorce? Divorce? <laughs> Honey, that's like old news, past tense. We saw the divorce papers. It's in the trash. I can show you if you want. Really? Yes. Dad, is mommy telling the truth? Suppose? Hmm? Nene, you're dying. Uh, let's just say miracle happened. You were weak. How did you get the sudden energy? Nene, don't sit there and act dumb. Start talking. <laughs> yeah, um... Doctor Essie, my granddaughter really needs this. She needs to fake an ailment. She needs it for her parents. She needs it for her peace of mind. She needs it for her future. General, you have contributed to the development of this hospital in more ways than one. 
you're asking me to do is against the ethics of my profession. Ma, I'm sorry to ask this question. Are you married? Happily married, yes. Okay, do you have kids? Twin boys. Ma, if your family is falling apart and you have the power to save it, would you do it? Family is a beautiful gift from God. And I wouldn't trade mine for anything in the world. Are you trying to blackmail me emotionally? No, ma. Not at all, ma. I'm Dr. Messi. <sighs> My daughter has been truly traumatized by this. If there's anything at all within your power, I will make every resource available. I appeal to you. Please, ma. You are so impossible. Dad. Did you think of me in this whole plan? Did you think of the emotional trauma? The mental stress, the heartache? It's okay, it's okay. This is so selfish. So selfish. Dad, how could you do this? You went too far. Nene, I'm so disappointed in you. Can you all stop blaming Grandpa? You should blame me instead. I forced him into this. I came to Nigeria to have a peaceful vacation with my family. Oh no, it's been one fight every single day. I love my family so much and I love the both of you. And then you guys decided to have a divorce. Do you know how that would have made me feel? Did the both of you ever stop to think about me? The impact your constant fight had on me? No. That is being selfish. After all of this, who is happy now? The both of you. And who is upset with Grandpa? Still the both of you. That is being self-centered. Always been blamed for all his good deeds. Grandpa. Who is unhappy? Grandpa. Do you all know what? Grandpa deserves some accolades. Yes! Not all of this! I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just so sorry. Grandpa. Thank you, Barry. You know I love people too. So much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now I can finally sweep. See you guys later. Look at that! Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>